Hello everybody and welcome back to Command Point. My name's Ryan and here today I'm with Shane. And Shane, today we are talking all about the new Kill Team expansion that just came out, uh, Chalnath. Yes, we are. And the factions in that box, the Novitiates. And on another video, we're going to talk about the Pathfinders as well. Yeah, that's right. So be sure to look out for that. In order to build a Novitiate kill team, you have to take a Novitiate leader. Then you choose uh, nine different Novitiates. And then uh, it says here that Novitiate militant operatives can be selected up to nine times. So those are just like the basic Novitiates. And then the Novitiate Pergatus operatives can be selected up to two times, and each other option uh, can only be selected once. Almost all the models are the same stat line. They have four up saves, they have seven wounds, and the uh, the Pergatus has a Ministorum flamer, which is, I mean, it's basically, it's an, almost a normal flamer. It's got five attacks, hitting on twos, uh, damage two, three, six inch ranged with torrent two, and then it's got that Inferno one roll, but the Pergatus also has an action called Burning Advance, where it's kind of like the Daka Dash that the uh, Commando Shooter Boy has. So basically, you get a free dash action with this operative and then a free shoot action. I guess the difference here is that it seems to indicate that you do the dash first. There's not like a choice. So, rules is written, at least from what it looks like right now. Uh, hypothetically, you know, the uh, Novitiate Pergatus would be able to perform a free dash action and then shoot with not just the Ministorum Flamer, but any kind of weapon that it could possibly be equipped with from the uh, from the uh, Novitiate equipment list. Just something interesting to point out. Yeah, like a crack grenade, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Yes, perhaps which, a crack grenade. <laughs> yeah, which doesn't really make sense because it's called Burning Advance, but yeah, you are right. And then right above, there's the Novitiate Penitent, which if you've looked at Ecclesiarchy, probably looks a little bit familiar. It's kind of like a uh, uh, Sister of Pentia, sort of. It's got that Penitent Eviscerator stat line. It has an ability called Zealous Rage. So basically the first time it fights, uh, you get to reroll any or all attack dice, which is really good. It kind of makes up for the fact that it hits on fours. And then instead of doing fight when you charge, you do the unique action, Absolution Through Destruction, where you fight and then you can fight again. You can do a lot of damage with this. Yeah, this model can pretty much tear through anything in one round of combat. Yeah, the problem is the seven wounds, so it might get messed up too. <laughs> those of you watching that haven't looked at this faction yet, we're probably thinking that those models look pretty weak. Uh, and there's a reason for that, kind of. Uh, there is something about them that's unique and that's the Axe of Faith. The X of Faith, it's kind of like a separate command point pool with these eight things that you can do for with your faith points. And what they amount to is stuff like rerolls. And I mean, let's just get into it, right? Sure. So uh, at the start of each turn, you get three faith points. And then at the end of every activation, which you're going to have 10 of them uh, at most, uh, you get another faith point. And there's also different operatives that the novitiates have that can give them more faith points. I think there's some equipment pieces that give faith points. So you're going to rack these up really quickly. And then you can spend the faith points on these eight abilities. So, I mean, let's just go through them. Faithful Blessing. So when you fight or make a shooting attack and the roll attack dice or uh, roll defense dice step of that combat or shooting attack, you can reroll one of your attack or defense dice. Um, and this is one faith point, and you can use this one more than once in an activation. So this is just a reroll for one faith point, which is, again, these are easy to come by. Uh, you go down, there's Guiding Light for two faith points. This, it kind of skips the reroll part, and you just take a fail and turn it into a successful normal hit. So it's two instead of one. And then for three, you can turn a successful normal into a crit. Uh, and then Divine Shield for two. And the roll Defense Dice step, it's basically the same thing but you turn a failed armor save into a successful normal save. Armor of Contempt is kind of uh, the same thing. You turn a normal save into a critical save. And then they have uh, Emperor's Protection. So whenever you suffer a mortal wound, you just ignore it for one faith point. Um, I don't know how often they're going to be <laughs> suffering mortal wounds. I know there's some equipment stuff that gives them mortals potentially, but... Uh, and then Blessed Rejuvenation... Uh, when you activate a novitiate, you can spend two faith points and regain D3 lost wounds. And you can do this twice in an activation. Uh, that's decent. And then Blinding Aura, 
Uh, when an enemy operative performs a shooting attack, you select one friendly novitiate operative. Until the end of that activation, while that friendly operative is more than six, or sorry, more than circle, so two inches from that enemy operative, uh, that friendly operative is treated as being covered. Yeah, like you said earlier, this Acts of Faith uh, whole ability is universal to all of the novitiates, um, and it's really what makes the faction the faction. Um, yeah. You know, individually, these models are not very strong, but through through their acts of faith, through their faith in the Emperor, they're able to buff themselves up. Yeah, and I mean, I think it makes for a pretty interesting team. Um, and you do still get command points, obviously. And I think it's important to look at their ploys from that lens, the fact that they do have all these free rerolls. The fact that they have all these faith points is kind of going to free up their command points to be used on ploys. Um, and because of that, I think some of their ploys are a little bit more niche. Going over to the strategic ploys, they can remove the range special rule from their pistols. Which is Certainly. really nice on uh, on their leader model, which you can, of course, equip a fate plasma pistol. And then there's sanctified rounds, which, like I mentioned earlier, you can buff the damage characteristic of auto guns. And they basically become bolt guns, which is whatever. I don't think at the end of the day, you're going to actually be running a lot of auto guns. Uh, Aegis of the Empar Emperor. This is basically every time a enemy operative within six inches of a friendly novitiate performs a psychic, they suffer one mortal. I mean, that's super niche. Yeah. Only a few matchups right now are we going to see that. Defenders of the Faith, they actually have a 2 CP ploy here. Basically, you just pick one novitiate on each objective, and uh, you can basically do a free shoot or fight if they have engage orders. Certainly has a potential to be really powerful. I mean, 2 CP's ploys are a bit difficult to justify, but uh, they have their faith points, so they'll be saving CP, I think. Yeah. So I just want to make this clear. So it says um, at the start of the firefight phase, one friendly novitiate operative that is within two inches of the center of each objective marker can perform a free a free fight or excuse me a free shoot action if it has an if it has an engage order. And then the second bullet point is it can perform a free fight action if it has an engage order. So it gets a free shoot and a free f and a free fight action, right? Oh, I suppose so. Yeah, I, for some reason I read that as they can do one. Your tactical plays. I mean, glorious murdered him. You uh, you gain faith points, and so when a model dies, you spend the CP, and then enemy operatives within two inches of you take one mortal wound, and then you gain D3 faith points. So I'm more into that for the faith points than the mortals, because that's not a lot of damage at all. Yeah. And then I did want to talk about Burning Wrath, because I think this is a really important one. I do too. So, I mean, we talked about the Flamers, and obviously normally I don't think Flamers are that good, but Burning Wrath basically turns the Flamer into like a super Flamer. So you spend one CP when you activate the, um, or actually it's at the start of the turning point, or it doesn't really specify, it's a tactical play, so I guess just whatever. Um, but when you basically select uh, Novitiate Purgatus, operative and then until the end of the turning point you change the profile of the flamer to five attacks hitting on twos damage three four inferno two that's a really good for a flamer so the last tactical ploy they have is righteous condemnation so for one cp use this tactical ploy after rolling your attack dice for a shooting attack made by a friendly novitiate condemner operative you can reroll any or all of your attack dice for that shooting attack Novitiate Condemner is armed with the Condemner Stake Thrower. So this is a 4 attack, Ballistic Skill 3, Damage 2, 3, Silent, P1, uh, Mortal Wounds 2 weapon. Yeah, so it gets to reroll its hit rolls with that weapon. Interesting. So it's basically damage 2, 5 with the Mortals, which is a weird profile. Uh, P1's always good. Silent's always good. Yeah, this model is basically the, the Sniper the yeah. sniper model for this kill team. Solid. Definitely good with that ploy. There's the Preceptor. So I wanted to talk about this guy a little bit, or I guess this girl a little bit. The Mace of the Righteous uh, weapon that they got. Uh, four attacks on threes, damage five, five, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then Inferno two and stun. So, I mean, that's a really good profile right there. They've got the unflinching determination ability, which is kind of weird. It's like, uh, I mean, buffing nearby models that are getting shot at, which is like, okay. Kind of interesting considering this is like a melee model. Yeah. Um, 
and then it's got the glorious hymnal ability. So for one AP, until the end of the turning point, each time a friendly novitiate operative fights in combat, in the roll attack dice step of that combat, if it's within six inches of this operative, you can reroll any or all of your attack dice results of one or two. Uh, interesting. I don't know how often you're going to be able to make use of that just because this is a two APL model. Lots of auras going on with this. Uh, really, I just want to run in and, and bonk things. With it, <laughs> this, yeah, you... this model literally bonks things to death. Yeah, but it's got these auras too, which I guess is worth looking at. Probably a must take just because of that mace. Oh yeah, it's too good not to take. So taking a look at the novitiate equipment here, uh, is there yeah. any is there anything on this list that particularly sticks out to you, Shane? Uh, I like the icon of faith. I mean, I, I guess it's okay. I mean, it basically lets you do a free act of faith once per battle. You'll probably want to be using this to get like a three point act of faith out rather than just using the reroll or something. You have so many faith points that, I mean, I'm trying to think of how useful this would be considering only one model can get it. Actually, sorry. Um, up at the top, it says the asterisk. Any equipment mark with an asterisk can be selected a maximum of two times. Uh, they have another thing called the Sainted... You want to help me out with this one? Yeah, the Sainted Reliquae. Uh, uh, each time this operative strikes with a critical hit, you gain one faith point. You can definitely make that work with something like uh, like that Duelist, maybe, who's got the Lethal Five. I like stuff that gives you more faith points. That seems pretty strong. I mean, like it's all about the faith points with this, <laughs> with this kill team. Um, and these those two equipment options really lead into that. Uh, there is the auto chastiser for only one equipment point that I think is really interesting. Mm -hmm. So each time this operative fights in combat or makes a shooting attack, in the roll attack dice step of that combat or shooting attack, you can reroll once. Uh, but if you reroll into a one, you take a mortal wound. So on paper, Shane, this equipment choice sounds pretty good. Yes. Um, but in my experience, every time I've ever re-rolled a one, it's always rolled into it. Well, not always. 99% of the time, it rolls into a one. So I don't know if I would be taking this one. Here's the thing I like about it is because remember, there's a act of faith for one point where you ignore a mortal wound. Ah. So if you uh, throw the auto chastiser on a few different models, I mean, it's one point. How often are you going to re-roll a one into a one? I mean, you might do it more than the average person. Yeah. But even when you do, you have that, you know, that get out of jail free card to, uh... and even if you can't do it, at the end of the day, it's only one mortal, which actually isn't that bad. Um, I think the upside for one equipment point definitely outweighs the downside. Yeah, no, you're totally right. And the other thing too about that particular act of faith is it says that that act of faith can be used more than once. Per, uh, <laughs> per turning point or whatever it says. So per like activation, per activation, yeah. So you can just keep using it. And yeah. uh, these things are cheap. Like hypothetically, you can put one on each model in your yeah. team because it's made up of, uh, of 10 of these sisters. So one of my concerns with this team, I think, is that there's, uh, there's so much more housekeeping, or I, I guess I should say accounting with this kill team because of the faith points. Yeah, keep um, a d20. Somebody will figure out a good system of keeping track of those faith points. Maybe it'll be us, but does that pretty much do it for the Sisters Novitiate? Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's a pretty apt uh, first impression there. I think they look like a pretty good team. They don't strike me as being... I mean, they seem like they have the potential to be really um, bad, maybe, but I think that the Acts of Faith are enough and the whole faith point system might be enough to, to keep them as a, like a pretty good team that probably has a pretty good skill ceiling too if i had to guess with all the way these these different models operate and because these are weak chassis i mean seven wounds a piece basically yeah four up saves. i'm really excited to see what people do with them uh they look like a lot of fun personally yeah, I'm a, I'm in agreement with you there. I think that this is a this is a high skill floor, high skill ceiling uh, kill team we have here on our hands. But yeah, that about wraps it up. So let us know what you guys think of the sister novitiates down in the comments section below. Uh, let us know if there's anything that we missed. You can come over and join us over on our Discord and continue the conversation there. 
But uh, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all again in the next one.